What's going on guys and welcome back to another um, rewrite TARDIS tutorial. So in today's video we are going to be going over the 2005 rewrite TARDIS. So this is actually my favorite TARDIS from the show. I think it's going to be a lot of fun because this is actually like, I think like one of the most well looked TARDISes on the inside like interior. It is absolutely crazy as they have in Gary's mod. This is in Gary's mod. So if you guys want to get this TARDIS add on that will be down in the description below as well as the texture pack to get the 2005 one. I'll also be leaving the map in the description below as well as the sonic screwdriver in the texture pack to get the 2005 sonic screwdriver so if you don't know how to still um switch the con sonic screwdriver between between the looks of like in the show i'm going to show you right now so you want to go over to your options hold q options sonic screwdriver and then you want to click this little down arrow right here and all the ones that you have installed will show up right here i'll be putting every single pack that um, i have in the description below as well as the 2005 one so if you all you just had to get all the packs and then it's so much, so many of these. So we got like the War Doctor, the 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd, 12th, 11th, 10th Doctor, 2005. Like, there's tons. If you don't, if you want to change the color though, you can use it right up here. It's a whole color wheel that you can just change. It's the, what the little light is that comes out of the Sonic Shiver. But if you want to change it, what you have to do, have the packs, and then click whichever one that you want. Like, you might click 2010 one if you're using the 2010 TARDIS. I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to normally just click the 2005 one because that's the one I'm using for this TARDIS that they went with the show. And then you want to click the little squiggly line under your escape key once you pick your Sonic screwdriver and you just want to slash take kill in it in the console. Push enter and escape. It just needs to reset your character for um, the texture pack to take effect. And then you want to pull out your Sonic screwdriver again and then it would have changed. I didn't change it though but it would change for you. Okay but without further ado we're going to get straight into this tutorial. <laughs> Hey guys, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the interactions that the Sonic Screwdriver has with the TARDIS. So you can face anywhere no matter what, uh, I'm just going to do the doors. So you want to hold the left mouse button with the Sonic Screwdriver, it's going to open up. Again, you can do it like, from the back, and it still does it from there. You can hold the right mouse button, it's going to say TARDIS locked. So that means at the bottom left. That means when you push E, anywhere on the TARDIS, it's not going to open. <laughs> That's kind of weird, you can kind of go inside like that. Hold um, right mouse button again, and it's going to say TARDIS unlocked at the bottom left. That means you can open it and close it gradually. But this is actually my favorite part of the TARDIS. If you hold Alt facing the TARDIS and left mouse button, it's going to say TARDIS linked at the bottom left of your screen. Make sure it says linked and not unlinked. That means you can go anywhere that you want and press R. It's going to say TARDIS moving to Ampus at the bottom left. That means it's actually going to start taking that TARDIS and bringing it right here. But first it always has to have, I mean of course it has to go through Tiny Vortex. So it's going to disappear, press R again. And since he starts materializing to where you originally pushed R, which was right over here, give it a second to phase in. Should be right over here. There it is. And then there can actually be anybody inside of there, like anybody that you have on your server or friends that playing with you could be inside of that TARDIS and will get teleported to where you did that. <laughs> There's another way of doing it. Make sure that it does say linked. If you do it again, it will say unlinked. So make sure that it says linked. You can go anywhere that you want and hold left mouse button. It's going to say TARDIS destination set at the bottom left. That means you can go anywhere that you want. Press R again. But it's not going to be go going to where you pressed R. It's going to be going to where you did the Sonic screwdriver. It's going to start going there. It's where you said, where it said Sonic. Um, <laughs> what was it? Destination set. Where it said that. If it first has to go through time vortex. Press R again. Like normal. Like you did with the other one. Except it's going to be going right over here. Where I did Sonic screwdriver. Right over here. I really like how it has like steam. Like, look, it's like dust going off of it. It's a really cool effect that they added to that. Again, I'm going to move it over here. I just move it over here so, like, the sun. Because, see, you can see how it kind of looks black. And then if it's facing the sun, you can actually see all the detail of it. Kind of makes it more realistic that way. I actually like it. But now we're going to be going into the real things of the TARDIS. Why this makes this add on so amazing. I'm really surprised that's in Gary's one. So you want to press E. It's going to open up the TARDIS. It's actually crazy. It's bigger on the inside. So you want to go straight inside here. This is amazing how big this TARDIS is. It's just crazy. So we're going to be going into the controls. There's not actually that many controls. But there's a lot of little buttons that just does random things. Random switches and random noises. I actually really like that. So you can kind of like play around 
if you're doing like role play and you can click all these buttons. Some of them really do stuff, which I'm going to be showing you today how to use them. So you want to come straight from this TARDIS, you want to go to the, um, to show you see the little, little switch right here. It's going to be straight up from the doors, right there. You want to push E, and you can actually push E anywhere on the console that doesn't have a button or a switch that actually does something. Let's do it right there. And then you can actually see the top time rotor thing will be flashing. And that means you can do W, A, S, D, and shift. And like, if you do shift and W, it's going to make it go faster. But you're actually going to be starting to float. It's actually really cool that they added this in here. They had this, I think, with all the rewrite TARDISes. But it's actually going to be floating. <laughs> if you push E, you'll get back into the console. And then you can click this again to turn it off. But it's kind of hard to click this. You can't actually click the handle. You have to click where it originally would be. Like it's right there, you have to click it there again to turn it off, and it's just going to fall straight down. But now we're going to be going into the basically the best part of this, which is the flight mode. It's going to be this lever right up here, once you come up straight from the doors, right here. I'm going to push E, it's going to start the flight mode. Again, click anywhere that you want that doesn't have a button, and you're going to actually start flying. That means you, W goes forward, A goes left, E goes right, and S, I believe, yes, S goes back. If, but if you hold to shift while you're doing the WASD, it's going to start making you go faster. You can hold spacebar to go up, and control key to go down. It's actually really cool, so you have full, like, chance of where, everywhere that you could go. Like, full controls. It's actually really cool. Going for the water there. But there's some controls that you can do in here, actually. If you, hold, if you click the right mouse button, it's going to say to spin direction set to none at the bottom left. That means you're just going to be going straight for it. If you click it again, it's going to say clockwise. So you're start going to be going clockwise. Click again. Anti-clockwise. I think in the show I like it clockwise because that's kind of how you would think the TARDIS would go, I guess, in the show. If you click the last mouse button anywhere that you want, where you're kind of pointing, that little red X that you saw will come up. You're going to be starting to be going into the time vortex. So you're actually, no matter how far you go, you're going to be right back there of where you did that. Um, I might got a little bit messed up, I believe. Yeah, because I was so close to the wall. I will show you that again. But you can't be, like, at the edge of the wall. You kind of have to be normally, like, close into it. No! No! Okay. There we go. <laughs> so I'm going to go into flight mode here. Click again. That little X will come up. You can't be, like, against the wall. You kind of have to be in a normal spot. But even if you go all over, it's still going to teleport you into the time vortex. There we go. Kind of and then you're actually going to be in the 2005 time vortex. It's really amazing. And then you can click again with your left mouse button inside of here. And you can kind of fly around here too, which is really cool. And you're going to start teleporting, coming out of where you clicked before. Push up. Yeah, and I clicked right over here, so I'm going to come over there. It's not an amazing thing, but it's kind of good to get away if you really need to, really fast, if you're playing like online. They're trying to blow up your TARDIS or whatever. But um, there's a, but a few buttons that you can do in here. You can press R. It's going to turn off the TARDIS. I like doing the actual switch in the in the TARDIS. But if you really need to do it faster, you can do that. Um, F will open the doors. You can actually see me in here. See? Hey! That's me! <laughs> there we go. So um, you can actually click R again. And then like turns off. Alright, I'm just going to control key. Get lower. See if I can make this like perfect. R. No. No. Oh, yes, it did it. <laughs> it's a little actually bright, the console. That's why I don't actually like this about this part. Basically, the only flaw is that it's a little bright when you go farther away. Like, like see, it kind of looks kind of shiny, and then you get closer, and then you can really see actually how detailed this is. And little, even the shiny things on the window. Um, if you don't know how to zoom in, you can hold B, and it'll zoom in for you. Yeah, that's the same thing with the console. If you don't know how to get rid of that, I don't know if it's just my map or what. But I kind of like it because it kind of shows how bright the TARDIS actually is. But yeah, the time rotor, I wish it would be a little less bright. But it's how the creator made it, and that's <laughs> I'm fine by that. You know how much work they did. You can't really expect everything in that. Look how amazing this is. They did have a few updates with it where you can also climb up and down the ladder. And you can also sit in the seat. It's actually really cool. Look how amazing this is. Like, it actually looks like little sticky notes. <laughs> It's absolutely crazy, but um, I'm going to be showing you guys actually how to go into the time vortex. So if you're right here and you just want to leave, it's going to be this button right here, this lever. Click E on it, 
it's gonna start shaking. I really like how it shakes because when Matt Smith threw the TARDIS and he played the character of the Doctor, he was kind of like rough with it. Like he was bad, like hitting stuff with a hammer. So it kind of it shakes to make that effect. I really like that though. It eventually stops though. But now we're going going into the time vortex. So if you open the doors now, like oh I want to leave. Nope, <laughs> you're in the time vortex. You're not leaving. It's absolutely crazy. So if you click E again, you can see that you're in here. It's crazy. Now you can just do the left um, click to get out of it, but I like actually clicking this again. And you'll start beginning out. Look how cool that looks. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you're going to start teleporting out of the time vortex and to where you originally went into it. Wait for it to go here. Yeah, there actually wasn't that many switches. I think that was all. It was a flight mode. Um, no, yeah. Time Vortex, Flight Mode, and Float. <laughs> and Float. So you can actually open the doors here, and then, that's actually where I am right there, because this is a portal. Hey! But yeah, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what video you want to see me do next. If you did enjoy, please smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and comment down below of what video you want to see me do next. I already said that. Or you can go into the discussion page on my channel, but see what like game you want me to play, or what tutorial you'd like to see on Gary's Mod. Absolutely crazy. I'm pretty sure I did over everything that I'm going to do, I believe. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure it's everything I was in this TARDIS. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, the next thing, we're going to be going over a lot of different TARDISes. We've already went through 1963, 1965, 1975, 1983, and now we're on 2005. We have the 2010 one next, and then we have, I believe it's Matt Smith, and then Legacy. No, it wasn't Legacy. Where is it? I have no idea where it is. <laughs> But I'll have it for next time. Don't worry, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And then we actually have a lot of different um, TARDISes that wasn't actually from the show. That is random people's made. But I hope you enjoyed. See you guys. Peace. Um.